All right, so our first step is going to be uh, something new to us. So we're going to go into our models and we're going to create something called an interface. So I'm going to say add a new item and in there I'm going to call this item I baseball repository and the I on here is not for iPhone or iMac or iHome or whatever it is for interface so I baseball repository and so I'm going to add this file and this may be the most important part of all these videos right here because often students will miss this step and then they get some crazy error they can't figure out forever forever and uh, it, it's uh, a pain and so this is not going to be a class this is going to be something called an interface now an interface is a template and I know what you're saying to yourself which is isn't a class a template and the answer is yes yes it is but this is the template for the template this defines to us when we create an instance of this class the types of things that we have to put in it in order for it to be a valid or, or legal class and so um, what we're going to do then is to define in this case um, that this class is going to need to have a list of type manager called managers and on that we're just going to put a get okay so list of manager type of type manager called managers now when I do this what that's going to say is when I build a class that uses this interface it's going to tell me that I need to have this in that class all right so let's let's try building the one that uses this okay so this is our interface all right so our interface public interface now I'm going to build a class based on this interface so I say add a class a new item a class and this one the way we typically would name these the pattern we'd use is EF and then the same name baseball repository and we know ES EF uh, repository repository um, we know that EF stands for entity framework in this world and so I'm going to build one in the same folder the models folder EF baseball repository add that and I'm going to say that our baseball EF baseball repository inherits from or implements is probably a better way of saying that the I baseball repository and as soon as I do that I get an error message and if I hover over this error message it's gonna say wait a second this does not implement interface member managers like it's supposed to and if I show potential fixes it'll actually say do you want me to implement the interface interface and if I do it'll actually go put that in there for me we haven't learned about throwing exceptions yet so I'll get rid of that but we're going to create a list of uh, manager called managers and um, Uh, well, I'll just leave it at that for now. And then this part is going to look really familiar. So we're going to say, now it's still not liking it because it doesn't have everything it needs. It's not populated yet. But this is the part that, again, might look a little bit familiar to you. So we're going to say, let's create a constructor here called EF Baseball Repository. And that constructor is going to require as input a context file that I'll call, well, we can just call it temp let's call it temp and so in that repository I'm going to receive when this is built I'm going to receive an instance of the context file called temp but that's only the scope is between that brace and that brace and so I want to create a private variable called um, uh, whatever I want to call it you know underscore let's, let's use oh it needs to be of type um, what was the type layman context file and we can just call it underscore context okay so this is the private variable that can now be seen between this brace and this brace and what we're going to do is take and set context equal to temp okay and then once I've got that done 
now I can finish out this statement, which is I want to create a public list of managers called, or, or uh, called a public list of type manager called managers. And I'm going to set that equal to my underscore context dot, no, underscore context, not that, dot um, managers dot to list. Okay, why is it not recognizing my underscore context? Context is not null there, which I hoped it wasn't null. Let me change the name. Oh, I need to use the lambda. All right, let's put it back. All right, so what we're saying here is it implements this, this uh, it, it's a function that's gonna go pull this information and then send it back, and now we're good. So this iBaseball repository is being implemented by going out and getting the data in this list, okay? So these two things working together, the interface that's uh, abstract, general thing and then the individual um, instances now um, so so this sets up the the template for what these instances are going to look like and then this is the instances and whatever changes I make to the template will be enacted in the instances and this was imported when I did my other thing when I, when I pressed the little light bulb we typically don't need that in there so this is what it would look like um, all right, so doesn't this look familiar? This is just doing the same stuff that we were doing in the controller typically, but now it's being done behind the scenes, behind you know a closed door, inside this little box. And all the home controller is gonna know in a minute is that it gets a box with some information in it. And it doesn't know how it got it or where it came from, but we do. We know that we built this little interface and then implemented that interface here to go load up that context file and put the information in this thing called managers inside our repository. All right, so that's that's setting up the interface and the implementation of the interface. Um, here in this EF baseball repository, and I don't expect that this makes sense. <laughs> this one is a tough one because I don't think it's going to make sense. I don't know how to make it make sense to you at this point, but it is one of these things that you just need to follow this pattern. This is the pattern. This is the way that we do it. It makes it much better for uh, testing and abstracting and, and uh, updating in the future. All right, next step in the next video. Spencer out.